Hey Virgo, welcome back. Welcome back. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, smash the like button and please subscribe. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what other messages there are here for you for the rest of October. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am running um, an October, October specials on all my personal readings for the next 10 days, or at least until the end of October. So do go over and book your reading. Okay, let's take a look. So you have coffin endings, bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. Okay, heart with a key. Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus, I forgot to say. Hand of cards, taking a chance, making healthy choices. Okay, so it looks like there's something that's ended, but it was a really big risk to change something, to get some freedom. I feel like you, Virgo, are making a huge decision. Maybe you've already made it, but it looks like in the, like the next, the rest of this month, you're making this huge decision, taking a risk and leaving or ending a relationship. So you can... Uh, either set yourself up to meet somebody new that maybe is healthier for you okay or just a healthy relationship or making better choices or put in so it may be ending a relationship it may just be changing out patterns of negative thinking and starting over in your life here okay so that's good making healthier choices in life and in love and self-care caring about yourself loving yourself being happier opening up your heart and maybe even meeting somebody in the next well what are we like it's the 15th so even before this month is up here okay big gamble here let's take a look and see what else you need to know what else is going on yeah four of cups so you're definitely um I feel like you're surprising somebody so if you have a relationship that just isn't working out or you feel like it's not working out I feel like you're you're gonna surprise someone as far as it's unexpected it, it like as far as ending a relationship here I feel like whoever your person is or was does not did not expect you to move on you're, uh, there's a sense of feeling unfulfilled, okay, and putting something to rest here as far as a relationship. Look at this. Yeah, totally unexpected. Upheaval. You're, you're, you're tipping over the apple cart here in a relationship for sure. Yeah, it looks like um, major upheaval. Is that the word, tipping the apple cart over? Is that the phrase? You are really, like, I don't know, Virgo, I just, I feel like you're done here, taking a big risk, a gamble, doing something that you normally wouldn't do is what I'm hearing. Um, you, I feel like you have a lot of empathy. I feel like you, um, I don't want to say pity or feel sorry, but you have an, you understand somebody's struggle or other people's struggle but for you to leave them with that struggle so they can figure something out on their own or figure things out, this is a huge, this is a huge gamble for you. And I feel like it's a surprise or will be a surprise to this person because you're, you, they won't see it coming that you're ending something. They won't see it coming. And you're really going to knock this person's ego like destroy their ego you know I, I don't know why I just feel like they maybe this person thought that you guys would like this would never happen so I don't feel like you're cheating or doing anything like that because of these cards over here but let me take a look more and see okay yeah you're manifesting definitely look at this starting over Virgo yep and you're giving the truth you're being straight about it I think it's more along the lines here of just saying, look, I'm done. I don't want to be. And just cutting it off quickly. It doesn't even feel like you get into any kind of long diatribe or have dialogue with someone here. You're just done. 
Like, nah, I'm, I changed my mind. I don't want to be with you anymore. You're not even giving someone a chance here. Yep, you're kind of keeping quiet. Not revealing. That's what I'm hearing. Just not revealing. Being a little bit, like you're being a little bit secretive. And I feel like this person would be very curious. Just like they want more information. So there might be communication from them in regards to, like, why? What's going on? Why? They don't expect you to just up and leave without really saying a word or giving an explanation. They just, it's going to come as a shock. And I do feel like they're going to try to communicate with you. Um, they're going to be spying or stalking, trying to get some more information because I don't feel like you're saying anything to this person. Yeah, look major conflict here well not major but definitely a conflict situation a lot of uncertainty on this person's side as far as you just being done with it but even with the four of cups i just get a sense that you're just not happy with a relationship they might even try to gift you or you know buy you gifts throughout the next like the rest of this month or send a gift to try to sway you not to end a relationship or not to leave. Yeah, definitely. This person is going to do everything they can to try to, because you're leaving them with no real explanation that they can accept. I'm not sure why. I'm not exactly sure why you would do that, but it feels like you just maybe you've already said enough maybe you've this might be like the breaking point like the 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 straw that breaks the camel's back for you as far as the relationship goes here and ending something whether it's a friend or romantic partner family member work situation whatever it might be i just feel like you you're done you're done we have gemini pisces cancer and scorpio and I feel like this person's going to really go out of their way to try to make your wishes, give you your wishes, like some kind of genie in a bottle <laughs> on, on a lamp that you're not even rubbing anymore. <laughs> yeah, there, there's definitely going to be an apology from this person. There's going to be communication, whoever your person is, whoever the energy whatever energy of this person is there's going to be a, an apology some sweet talk try to make it up to you they don't want you to go and then they're curious as to why thought we had a good connection here thought there was like a spark what's going on so this may be just somebody that you're dating and you change your mind and Virgo you don't feel like you owe anyone an explanation no matter who it is it doesn't feel like you it feels like you don't you don't know anybody an explanation or a reason you just finished so the next couple of weeks virgo or even into november you're taking some kind of a stand and it's a risk for you in in a sense where i kind of feel like because it's not comfortable um, it feels wrong, but actually when it's uncomfortable, that's exactly why and when you should do something because fear will keep you from moving forward. So if this kind of goes against your normal way of handling situations and you feel uncomfortable about it for whatever reason, it, it's definitely okay then, right? You should do it is what I'm saying. I'm not saying you should do anything, but I feel like when when you have a fear of something, fear will keep you stuck. And that might be why there's this element of risk here. Because you, you might find your, maybe all along you wanted to end something here, but you maybe were doubting yourself or you weren't sure if that was the right path or maybe just thinking that, there was a lot of good aspects to the relationship as well, but something here, obviously, when you are getting into a position of making healthy choices and loving yourself, I feel like maybe being involved with whoever this person is, you, you weren't. And I feel like this is going to come to a shock to them, and they're going to try to recover the relationship. Now, 
I will say with heart with a key for some of you there may be somebody else where you feel like you you may meet somebody else during this process who's healthier for you or that you or just the relationship seems healthier for you <clears throat> where you I see you getting together with someone and I feel like whoever this person is you're in alignment with each other it's a little stressful though a little bit of anxiety about this sure but somebody does come in and I do feel like at first you might uh, just kind of be like oh push back a little bit uh, Virgo I, I feel a lot of fear like it feels like a lot of fear from where you've been and you're taking it into where you're going. Even with good things happening for you, there's still there's still like this, maybe this anxiousness, anxiety, or fear-based energy with you that you are definitely pushing back on or defending yourself or and even pushing back some of you might even overcome this and push back against the anxiety so that you can open yourself up more. I, some of you might have like an anxious attachment style where you don't want that to ruin another relationship or you experience that in a past relationship and you don't want to take that into something new. So there's a lot of healing energy. Yeah, there you go. Queen of Cups. So this is a lot of getting in touch with your feelings and your emotions. Nurturing yourself. And you could be connecting with a water sign uh, going forward. Hmm. Now they're just saying for some of you, if you are breaking away from a water sign, and I'm saying this specifically because there was some water over here, I do feel like there is... A water sign who like I said there is a, a recovering trying to recover a relationship that's ending or that you're putting an end to part of this might be this person here as well opening up their heart to you oh gosh okay and it might cause you a lot of anxiety I, I'm hearing why now I'm hearing why now and part of it might have to do with because you are suddenly walking away or leaving. Is, is So Spirit, are you telling Virgo that someone that Virgo had a connection with, that Virgo is ending a relationship with, is going to come in and try to, oh yeah, give clarity and truth. Okay, so for some of you that is, I do feel like that energy is going to play out. This, so, you know, yesterday's reading was, that was a difficult reading. I'm not feeling the same feeling as yesterday. Right now, I'm not feeling that. So I will say that before we go any deeper into a reconciliation situation, let me just put it this way. The person that wants to try to reconcile with you is going to come in with clarity and truth. Not just try to recover the relationship out of their own anxiety, but come in with clarity and truth. Okay. And the four of wands. That they want to be with you. Okay. Like full term, long term. Have that foundation. There's definitely, they feel there was some kind of spark or connection. Um, so even if you just were dating them for a little while, like say three months or something like that. I feel like that person, they're not going to want to end it. They're going to pretty much do everything because I see you pushing back against that, but they're, they're going to keep trying. For others of you, I do feel like you push back on your own anxiety as you start opening yourself up and making better choices. You do give yourself a little bit of slack here. You get real with yourself and start building these beautiful foundations within yourself. 
and making change, major change here with the world. Starting a new chapter. So you do have that energy playing out for you. No matter what happens, I do feel like you are there's a lot of change happening across all fronts even the other person making change being honest being clear being truthful opening up their heart you doing the same with yourself so everybody's like shifting and changing okay so your healthy choices here i feel like this is what's influencing because you're making better and healthier choices for yourself Okay, so cards are flipping out here. Maybe you find a support group or you engage with family and people who bring happiness and joy. You definitely are making a decision here, not willing to compromise on kind of feeling like, no, I'm gonna have an apple instead of a piece of cake. And that, that's kind of a metaphor. It could be actual physical diet changes and stuff, but this feels more like a metaphor. You know, you're going to, I feel like you're going to bypass the instant gratification and the sweetness of something and instead make better choices for long-term health or long-term mental health, what have you. Your strength and resolve against toxic influences is pretty damn powerful going forward very powerful you overcome with courage this devil energy this any kind of addiction that you might feel you've been trapped in you overcome that you overcome passivity you overcome not standing up for yourself you overcome keeping quiet Strength is a very powerful card with the devil. I feel like maybe the devil had a grip on you or that toxic influence had some kind of a grip on you, but no more. You overcome it. It's beautiful with these healthy choices that you're making. And look, there's you. This is how you wind up. <laughs> this, is how you, this is how you wind up, Virgo. Strong, independent, I feel like the Nine of Pentacles, which is a Virgo card. If you have a jealousy problem, that leaves you. Now there's no more of that. If you have envy issues, that leaves you. Any financial setbacks are removed. You don't dive into becoming a workaholic you actually begin enjoying your life the things that you like to do so if that resonates for you that might be something you understand some of you might already be like now nah, i'm already healed and i'm living my life i'm looking for somebody new or i'm looking for a healthy relationship and i feel like with this renewed spirit you're on, you're on that path and like i said you might even be connecting with somebody new well, at least I think you will be. And I do feel like it could be a water sign. Now, it could be, like I said, if you had a water sign in the past, there's a renewal of that person's spirit as well. I do have Pisces here, so it could be a Pisces. Somebody here, whether it's you or another person, is seeing things from a different... I want to say, from your point of view, someone's looking at the situation from your point of view, and it's kind of like saying to themselves, well, let me try to get into Virgo's shoes and see what it would have been like to be on the receiving end of me, right? And maybe you're getting into your own shoes also and kind of telling yourself, well, I wonder what it's like to be on the receiving end of me, right? I mean, this is a little bit of having some type of empathy of understanding the interaction between you and other people. It doesn't mean going back to the past because I, like I said, you do have the world card here. So I do feel like there's a shift and change in your outlook, in your view, but also it's happening everywhere. A lot of people right now, I don't know if something's going on with the planets. I know, I think we have a full moon coming up this week, but there's definitely a shift in energy and we did have the moon up here 
as well. So there's change happening. Change is afoot, for sure. We have Aquarius energy and also, excuse me, Leo. So there is a renewing, a renewing of your spirit, a sense of hope. Um, the things that are going to begin dissipating and leaving your life is depression, any illnesses you might have, whether it's mental or physical or spiritual, arrogance, impotence is going to be resolved, um, and the sense of being ignored or feeling ignored, that's going to shift and change. You're coming out like a star here with hope, inner clarity. It's like a freaking miracle. Your faith is restored. You might even find yourself feeling like you're in the spotlight. Receiving attention, love, admiration. Even the, even the star card is a, is a sense of change. And moving into a new era. And that's what I feel like is happening here. And either it's just the energy is shifting and, and it's just bringing you into this or you are contributing to some of this change and making you much happier and you know Virgo I feel like that's the first and foremost thing that you need to get grounded for yourself and I see you doing that like whether you're going to start a new relationship with someone else or, or actually meet the one for you who's right for you or re-engage with someone who's actually willing to you know like I said step into your shoes and try to fix something none of this will be beneficial to you until you start making healthy choices here for yourself, which you're doing. So that's very promising. Oh my gosh, look. I mean, love is definitely on the table. Okay, Virgo, it, it is definitely on the table. Uh, mostly in the end of October, but then we're going to, you know, also going into the first couple weeks of November, there is a connection that you will make with someone for sure. Now the only court card here is the Queen of Cups. So that does have a heavy water influence. It doesn't mean that they are like their sun sign is water. It could be, but it's mostly a heavy water influence, which has a lot to do with, and it's an emotional influence. It's reconnecting, nurturing the self, healing, supporting yourself, that supportive energy, being tolerant with yourself. And it's not so much about forgiving someone it's more about accepting someone it's not so much about forgiving yourself it's more about just accepting yourself which is a hell of a lot easier to do than to forgive so if you're unable to forgive someone or even forgive yourself maybe just try acceptance and say well this is what happened the, these are the decisions and the choices I made. I did what I could do with, uh, you know, what I knew. Maybe you've learned and you know more things now. Or should I say, you understand more. And you're coming into that energy where you're going to begin maybe understanding more about yourself and those around you. And even about the choices that you have made in your past okay so let's take a look and see let's look at this new like meeting the one whoever this is right like i said this could be a new person or it could just be a recommitment a new commitment to a past person or new change with a past person let's take a look and see okay three of cups in the reverse virgo Four of cups in the reverse. Okay, three and four, 34, 34. So there's a past person or there, past person or this new person. I feel like Spirit wants to tell you a little bit about them here. This person was very, and I want to say in their life prior, um, It feels like they were, uh, they're giving me the word sloppy. <laughs> sloppy? I don't know if that's like their, their, maybe the way they dress, I don't know. But I feel like this person was very, they were like party, party girl, party boy. 
okay? Which means pretty much a lack of responsibility or accountability, just kind of like flying all over the place. All right, Virgo, let's take a look and see what the future holds here for you. We'll go in through the rest of November. Let's see what the future energies are. All right, so you have the hermit. That's you. Okay. You're doing a lot of reflection on your past, your childhood, but there is also a reconciliation. Somebody wants to reunite with you. It could be another Virgo. You might have a sister or a brother or maybe a cousin, someone from your past, right? There was a, there was a ghosting. So if there was someone who ghosted you, and when we say ghost, we just mean somebody disappeared. I'm also hearing someone, so they're telling me past. This is someone that you knew in your childhood who passed away that you are thinking about. You might get a visit from them in spirit. You might get a visit from this person. Or maybe that's already happened to you. This is interesting. You also have the King of Cups here. So they could be a water sign. So there was either a water sign who ghosted you, who um, is visiting you spiritually or in your dreams. They're, they're connecting with you in your dreams is what I hear. But it could also be someone from your childhood or someone that passed away that is also visiting you in your dreams, trying to connect with you. Okay? In your quiet times, in your quiet, and this feels like a very spiritual reading, this, this, this part here. could also be a king of wands, a fireside. Okay. You might be thinking about two people. They're up with, they're with the stars right now. You also have two people, <laughs> we'll say in a romantic aspect. Uh, masculine or feminine energy, fire or water. Um, fire or water, or fire and water, two people who are uh, very heavily interested in you. Waiting for you. They want to come toward you, Virgo. Okay, new, yeah, a new love beginning. I, I kind of, I don't feel like it's connected to this, this first message. This feels like something completely different. And I'm sorry that I broke it up like that, but I just got this sense of they just wanted to say your future. You have two people, okay, coming toward you. Before, I'm, I'm feeling like up until the middle of November. You're gonna have two options. And that was up here. Even though I don't feel like it was um, connected to that, you do have options showing up here. Oh gosh. So I feel like no matter what happens, whether you've got somebody coming back who's going to give you truth or try to um, rectify a relationship, there's also a second person who's showing up here that you may have to make a decision in regards to. And one of them is not going to be moving forward with you by your own decision. All right, Virgo. So I just, I don't know. I just kind of felt like Spirit wanted you to, to know because you did have meeting the one. So some of you are going to have someone from your past returning. You might be receiving, like I said, a visit, a spiritual visit from someone who has actually moved on in, in, in their spirit. They've passed away who are coming through your dreams to give you information about this. Almost to say, hey, Virgo, just so you know. It's like almost like a little heads up, not a warning. It doesn't feel like a warning. It feels more like a heads up to let you know what's coming towards you. Okay. Yeah, there you go. It's like a guardian. 
A lost loved one watches over you, Virgo. Boy, this is going in one direction here. Somebody's watching over you for sure. And the way they're watching over you is coming through your dreams to give you heads up, like a heads up, like, hey. So you're really going to have to pay attention to your dreams if you haven't been to let you know, okay? And dreams are interesting because it's someone from your past entering your dream. How can I say this? It's, it's so odd. It's like someone from your past entering your dream to warn you, or not warn you, oh my gosh, maybe, okay, maybe for some of you it's, it's a warning, but to tell you, to let you know, hey, this is what's coming forward. But the way they're coming through in your dream, they're, they're not coming through as the vision you remember them as. They're showing up in a completely different face. Or they're showing up with the face of a past person. I, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Uh, maybe you can explain it. They're showing a face, not their own, of the one you're meant to be with. And so they're, they're not showing up in your dream as who they are. You know, if you, if you think back on someone who passed away, you have the image of their face in your mind, right? But in your dream, it's them, but they're in the body and the face of the one you're meant to be with. That's what I feel like that watching over you energy is. Oh my gosh, yeah. New love, new beginnings, a motherly figure guiding you. For some of you, this might be your mom. Or uh, someone you consider a mother. This really took a turn. <laughs> That's crazy. Definitely a guardian. Yeah, and there you have like gambling, hand of cards, risk. You have some serious things you got to work through here. But making healthier choices, that's a start. Because when you start making these healthy choices for yourself, everything begins to fall into place the way it's meant to. I hope this doesn't sound so discombobulated. I just feel like I'm getting all these different messages in regards to this situation. Like what's happening in your life at this time. And it might feel like, I don't know, maybe it doesn't make sense. You know what? And sometimes it doesn't make sense to me because I'm not in, in your head. I don't know what you're feeling. So please leave me a comment if this is resonating at all. Usually when we as readers are giving messages, we often are like, what the heck's going on? <laughs> What's going on with this situation? If it doesn't make sense to the reader, that's how you know. It's probably, I want to say probably, it's your message. Okay, because it's never coming from our experiences. Okay, let's check, let's check your messages of love here. Okay, decision. Deciding about a relationship, yeah. We felt like that was going on here. Okay, you can be completely open with this person. Who is this person? You and another person, I will say, are on different pages due to some kind of an addiction. <sighs> Forgiveness again. Yeah, that'll help you move forward. If you can forgive, great. If you can't, then just start with acceptance. But you need to detach with love to clearly see the truth of the fact that you're on a different page with someone due to some kind of an addiction affecting the relationship, which will help you once you start accepting the situation and not owning somebody else's addiction or issues, then you can start making healthier choices for yourself. And yeah, trying something you've never done before, Virgo. You're being asked to follow your passion. What makes you happy? It doesn't have to be 12 different things. Just find the one thing that really brings you joy. It doesn't matter what it is. Spend a lot of time in that. Some rejection is actually divine protection. But a spiritual lesson here 
has been learned. So there is somebody in your life revealing. I don't feel like they're teaching you. I feel like they're revealing a spiritual lesson to you. And it's a friend. Now for some of you, this friendship situation could turn into something more. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could just lead to more of an in, more in-depth friendship, a stronger bond, even like a very deep soulmate. Okay. It, and it could turn to marriage. <laughs> Who is this? You have a friend here. A very important friend that you're learning things from. Now, if it's a same-sex friend and you, you don't do same-sex re sex relationships, it's just marriage in the sense of you two are going to be glued to the hip for life, like Siamese twins, right? Glued to the hip for life, no matter what. It's your spiritual connection that you have with a friend. And so that's an energy of being married. Do you know what I mean? Without the romance. And for others, there is a friendship that is extremely important in your life and will begin to grow stronger as time goes by that could even turn into more of a sacred union with this person right and this is somebody you already have this friendship with I don't feel like it's somebody new coming in here it feels feels like an already established friendship all right let's get a couple more messages here All right, there's your passion. A sense of, of feeling confident. There's a charismatic, restless energy about you going forward. Events requiring immediate action. Trust your instincts. Stay focused. And, you know, there's a passionate relationship heading your way. Again with the horses. Getting a lot of horse energy these past few days. All right, and you also have the King of Swords, an intelligent, impartial, respected, stoic type of a person. Person will be coming forward to give you wise advice, or there's someone in your life who is a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They remain objective and fair-minded. This person is a public speaker. They are there's no emotional connection with this person or they're emotionally unavailable which tells me that this feels like either you're going to pursue some kind of public speaking where you either give advice or you'll be receiving advice so maybe you attend a seminar or something along those lines that you're very passionate about where you receive some kind of advice like a public speaker is what I'm picking up here or you travel to see them. This doesn't feel romantic at all. This is just like something very significant. Yeah, like a wise counselor. Oh my gosh. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask, asking for divine help and trusting the answers will come. Looking at traditional ideas and methods and comparing them with new ideas to see which is best for you. So you're getting into some kind of, it feels like a spiritual community. It could even be like just, you know, there's a pastor, counselor, someone who's wise. So you travel. Uh, this is part of a healthy choice, making new decisions. Um, I don't feel like you're in a cult or following some kind of crazy leader. I just feel like you... You gain access to some very positive spiritual energy. And it's all part of healthy choices and healing for you. I don't know, Virgo. I like I really like when spirit wants to focus on you and your growth. I feel like that is instead of trying to resolve other people's problems, Virgo, when you're resolving your own then it's kind of like everything else just falls into place. When when you get better, everything or everyone around you gets better. And if they don't get better, then those aren't people that you need to keep around you, right? It's all about you 
getting better and being better and keep striving to be better. You never reach that perfect place. It's constantly learning, right? So here you are planning for the long term, receiving abundance from your past choices, pride in the success of your labels, labors, being patient as you decide what's next in your life. Like you have a lot of good energy. And yeah, an awakening. Wow. Temporary pause for reflection and insight. There's an awakening where you see things in a whole new light. You embrace your own uniqueness. You might even indulge in charitable actions as well. But this is a spiritual awakening that you have. It's like, I'm not a victim. That's what I hear you saying. And yeah, I'm going to be a little bit selfish so that I can take care of myself. But I'm not a victim. I'm a thriver. I'm hearing you coming to this place. You know? And you just get like this whole, like, I don't know, Virgo, you get this whole new perspective on life and love and who you are and what you want. I feel like tarot readings help you a great deal. That might even be your therapy where it's free and you learn. If that's not the case for you, Virgo, and you are watching tarot card readings and you feel like the messages are too jumbled, I mean, then I feel like maybe you're looking f to get answers on what other people uh, need to do instead of focusing on yourself. I feel like it's really important if you listen to tarot card readings, you know, to chime in or pay attention to the aspects in the reading about yourself. That's the most important thing. I don't feel like you need to stop watching tarot card readings. I feel like just be mindful of hope in certain readings that don't come to fruition because hope can be a very dangerous drug you know have hope for yourself and i feel like you'd be okay all right the readings have been interesting these past couple days i have to say they've been a little bit interesting but i will say that you have a lot going on i feel like there is going to be a renewal in your heart a renewal in a relationship and there is also an opportunity for you to break free and open yourself up to somebody new who I do feel like you're going to meet some you are going to meet the one I'm not exactly sure who your one is but there's definitely change across the board and transformation happening with new people past people and yourself so that's a plus at least at least for some of you it's a plus all right Connecting here with a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, double Scorpio showing up here. All right, 1968, 1969, August 28th. I'm hearing Diane, Diane or Diana. Okay, September 16th. September 5th. <clears throat> September 21st, September 11th, someone is 31, 45, 36, 47, 57, 50, all right, we have 1985, 1975, 1979, 1965. Okay, the month of March and the month of August were very significant, or at least the time in between. Between March, something happened between March and August of 2024. Something very significant in your life major change I'm hearing Knox like K N O X like a name Knox <clears throat> okay uh, let's see now they're saying oh also September 8th
Hold on, you guys. Somebody is um, coming out oops, and revealing their sexual identity. We have Richard. I'm hearing Richard. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hearing Virginia. I don't know if that's a name or the or the the state, West Virginia, or Virginia. I'm hearing Peg. Or Peggy <laughs> or pegging hey <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> whatever um, you guys you know what let me just get your Chinese signs I don't know why I feel like spirits been like holding these back from me the past couple of readings all right year of the snake very significant it could be you or the person you're dealing with year of the horse there's the horse again something's going on with horses there's some kind of connection to horses that are very significant this week there's someone year of the dog year of the dragon year of the tiger the goat the ox there's the ox the rooster okay I keep picking up Diane I don't know why and I feel really blocked with these letters and this is the first because usually Usually something comes through. Okay. They're just seeing. All right. So, oh, Debbie. I just heard Debbie. So his name is Debbie or Deborah. So we have the letter B. So I'm, I'm hearing initials. B, G. I'm not hearing. I'm, they're telling me to call initials. We have a C. There's a W. A, we have an E, we have a Q, and a V. We have the initial O, there's a K, Kentucky. We have a Y, a J, and an X. Okay. Tough energy with the, with the, the letters. All right, let's get your charm. All right, so you have a parakeet. Parakeet is significant for someone. Maybe you have a parakeet or a parrot. I feel like maybe that's a parrot. I can't really tell. Anyway. Does your parrot or parakeet sing to you? There's something here about a parakeet. Oh, for some of you, you had a parakeet as a child. Did you? Somebody here must have. Like if you were born in the 60s or the 70s or early 80s, there was a parakeet or a parrot. Someone had a parakeet or a parakeet. Par I can't. I have to stop saying that word. When they were a child. And it, it's symbolic of, of something, like a memory. All right, let's see. All right, Virgo. You've got like a fairy. Think connection with a fairy. Like a Tinkerbell kind of fairy thing. Fairies and parakeets. What's going on here? Magical. Something magical. Something magical with a fairy. 
a fairy, fairy. I can, I have Jersey accent. I'm sorry. If you don't understand me, F-A-I-R-Y. We say things differently out here. <laughs> and then you've got a blue shirt with a heart. This kind of feels like somebody wearing their heart on their sleeve, but it's also, um, Oh, no, no, no. Okay. A blue a heart, someone, a nurse, some, a medical, medical scrubs works in heart health, something to do with heart. Uh, cardiology is what I'm hearing or, uh, scrubs resuscitating someone's heart. Is that the word resuscitating the heart? Yeah. Emergency room. Uh, it feels like a career. It doesn't feel, it's not like a warning. Hey, it feels like a career and scrubs like a heart doctor or heart surgeon. I don't know. Maybe you're, maybe you're going to get a procedure done or something. It's not a warning. Don't worry. I'm not like, Oh, watch out. You're going to have a heart. It's not that. <laughs> I, I don't do those types of things. I don't do readings like that. Okay. And I feel like spirit just wants you to have, there's another horse. I just can't with these horses. I don't know what's going on with the horses. I feel like we need to pay attention to, so, all right. I saw in the chat yesterday, somebody said, um, what, are, what is that song called? Um, it's called Wild Horses and it's from the Rolling Stones. So um, you just have to look it up, right? Cause I can't play the song here due to copyright issues. Um, I could read some of the lyrics, but I don't feel like it in this reading. So if you were curious and I didn't get to answer yesterday, it's called Wild Horses. And it's just, maybe it's just the theme song for this week. I don't even know what's going on. Anyway, the last charm you have, Virgo, is a watermelon. Slice. Something here to do with a watermelon slice. You could be eating watermelon right now, although, I mean, I guess you could be. I know we're into the fall. I guess watermelon's not in season. Now it's pumpkin season. Hooray! But there's something here. Um, it could be somebody's favorite fruit or a flavor. Something connecting to watermelon. But this watermelon has seeds, so it's not seedless watermelon, right? This, <laughs> I don't know. Watermelon icy? Somebody's still hanging on to summer. I could say that. Now, maybe you're in an area, like I'm up in the Northeast, so it's cold. It's already getting cold. Okay, we had like a frost warning last night. So you might be somewhere in the South where it's still pretty warm. And maybe you're still enjoying watermelon. Okay, that's totally understandable. And it just never gets cold where you live. It could be, I'm so envious, it could be that. But um, yeah, there's definitely a connection here. You might have a doctor or heart health doctor telling you to eat more fruits and vegetables. Could be that. Or you're, again, making healthier choices. So latching on to having some watermelon and having some fruit and things like that. All right. Now, I just kind of feel like the reading's rambling on, so I'm going to end it here. Um, so I want to say thanks to you guys who have booked your uh, readings this week. Um, I greatly appreciate that. Um, we do have, like quite a few of you who are already booking for the October specials. So they're heavily discounted. Go check those out. That's going to end at the end of October. So if you want to get a personal reading with me, definitely click on the link in the description box below. That will take you to my booking site and you could just, you can even get a text reading with me. That's even discounted and you can get a response pretty damn quick with a text reading, five questions. Um, so for those of you who are VIP members, uh, here on my channel, the bonus content reading is already uploaded. So if you didn't get a notification, go check that out. That's for the members only VIP. Um, so definitely go check that out. And if you're already a loyal member, you can upgrade to the VIP to receive your bonus content from me. All right, you guys, I'm going to keep rambling. So I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a fantastic night. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us